Hello dear YouTubers! As promised in the last vlog video, I would like to now present to you some of the G2 rarities and oddities I have managed to uh, buy during the summer period. First of all, I hope you remember my G1 Spark about Sizzle video because now I would like to update it with the G2 variation. It's very very obvious which one is the G1 and which one is the G2 version. The color schemes are telling at the very least. Instead of black and grey, we've got translucent yellow and blue with purple tires and flame decals and all of that. Of course the spark mechanism doesn't work, which is sad because I would really like to see it uh, with all the translucency going on. As well and um, the chrome. Chrome is worn off as well, which is quite sad because it would look really smashing just like it does on this fella. Flames flames and a lovely G2 Autobot insignia. I bet Graham the Collector 75 would love it. Now for the transformation as simple and micro masterish as the original but now we have the color schemes nearly switched. The main body is blue and the face is red. It still is a wonderful face sculpt but I don't know why, I just strongly dislike red face transformers. Don't know why, it just doesn't fit the whole robot thing with me. Anyway, oh yes, the exhausts, the exhaust pipes are gold now instead of silver, which is pretty nice, but the whole color scheme is so garish. <sighs> anyway. Let's get to the main part of this review, which is the duet of Stormtroopers Rage and Aqua Blast. Uh, I didn't manage to get um, Hydra Dread and Drench, the other two from the team, because they weren't available, sadly. And I quite like these two. They are members of the Stormtroopers team, the Decepticon Stormtroopers. Um, sports cars which uh, are um, which use weapons um, shooting highly pressurized liquids uh, such as acid and yes it's water really for the toys and not much more. I guess you could try pouring some acid into them but Let's have a look at Rage first. Here's his pump, <laughs> his arse pump, yes. And this mode is really, really nice. A bit Knight Rider ish, especially from the front. As you can see, they both have tons and tons of playware in the windows, in the paints. Um, and the paint is so old, it doesn't really do justice to the second gimmick of this line which is uh, heat sensitive hoods. They would change color. Sadly water doesn't work on them anymore but we can give him a little flame treatment. Don't worry nothing will happen to him but that's that's what would generally happen if you poured hot liquid or sprinkled, sprayed it from the guns. Anyway, this whole team is very strange because it's the most intelligent, the highest ranking and the most skilled team among Decepticons. Uh, all of the skills are either 9 or 10 and the strange thing is their leader is only of rank of 9 while two other team members uh, have rank of 10. Yes. 
they've appeared in the G2 UK, G2 comic books, uh, when they were sent by Bludgeon to kill Megatron. And we may guess how it ended. Yes, they got torn apart. But, let's get on to the transformation. We'll pull the back section, take out his gun, and we will get back to it in a moment. Now, well, we have him standing like this. We'll pull the arms down, flip the chest down, and that's how we expose his arms. Now, the last thing is flipping down his cutesy, lovely toes. Aren't they just precious? Yes, they are. So here is Rage in his robot mode. Let's have a look at the face. The sculpt is simply incredible. Just look at the light piping. Wonderful. He also has a translucent red crotch for some reason. And I've no idea what the reason may be, but coupled with his phallic, urethra-like looking gun with a pump at the end, uh, squirting liquid. That's no good. Uh, there should be a reason. Uh, sh there should be a way. <laughs> yeah, reason. Right, there's no reason at all, but there should be a way to plug it into his back and put it into his hand, but that doesn't work for some re reason. A reason, reason, yeah, reason. Reasoning with him is pretty hard. But that's his gun in his hand. Looking mighty, mighty silly, might I say. So, but yes, rage. Lots of play wear. But he looks amazing. Now, Aqua Blast. Again, very nice uh, car mode, but much, much, much less detailed than the first one. So you can see driver seats and um, steering panel thing. Now this is his gun, and it detaches like this, leaving us with a nasty Godzilla bite up the car's arse. And the transformation is pretty strange on this one. Not what you would, what you'd expect. First, we'll let the loose, uh, let the legs loose. Then we will work the arms, waist, out, off, ah, yes, and collapse the chest. Now this is the strangest part. We will rotate this whole section up and reveal the head. Again, uh, the arms have just as much articulation. I didn't cover the articulation on Rage because it's just as crappy as here. The elbows will move and the arms will do all kind of strange jiggery pokery, which doesn't do a thing for posability. Um, you might think that such a strange uh, transformation would help the robot mode to be more coherent, but no. It's got a large hollow gap in here and translucent red tits. Had to be said. But face is again very robotic, very detached, and the light piping is amazing. Oh, yes, one extra bit of articulation he can detach his head from the neck joint, and which he doesn't have, but we'll pretend he does, and look up. Moronic, might I say. Now, the weapons fit into these tiny holes in his hands. And this is the way he's holding his gun. Not that bad, really. You can imagine him doing the Rambo 4 minigun scene with this. Oh yes, some extra articulation on Rage. Thank you very much. So, these are two of the four Stormtrooper sports car squirting water. Thank you very much. This has been Bolov's Bowie with some strange tools and a slurry tongue. And no, I am not drunk at the moment. Thank you. Bye.